Diary, hello. It's the beginning of December 2021, and this is my review of the Sony WH-CH710N uh, wireless headphones. Again, that's the Sony WH-CH710N wireless noise cancelling headphones. And to cut to the chase, it's a kind of meh negative review. And why is that? It's because they're not as good as their predecessors, which are the CH700 headphones, which you see here. So the backstory is, uh, and I shall make reference to the old headphones ad nauseum, uh, I do need a second pair of headphones. Um, and this is because in calls on the telephone, uh, I've noticed that my current Aeropex headsets or other headsets aren't very clear according to um, call centres. So I want to give people I call the best experience and I thought a pair of closed wireless Bluetooth connected headphones would be the right thing to do. So I'm looking for a quality pair of Bluetooth headphones, additionally something that I can use with noise cancellation. Personally, I wouldn't be seen dead walking around the high street with this kind of setup. I'd be wearing something much more small and compact. So they don't need to go outside. And so I think that means I don't need a case for them because people who take monstrous things like this outside would need a case when they've taken them off their heads and, you know, they're not walking around looking like space aliens. So why don't I like these headphones? So technically they are, I would say, as good as the outgoing CH700 phones, but it's all to do with buttons and button placement and button pushing. So on these headphones, you can see the buttons are recessed. So that is the start stop button. Uh, you've got a plus start stop minus. Uh, and then you've got this button here that, con that change it from ambient to noise cancellation. Uh, and on this side, you've got the power button. Uh, so the first thing that's really wrong, this is, the, this is the killer design fault, is these buttons are difficult to press in a hurry. You've got to kind of focus. If somebody comes in and says, you know, what you're doing, and you need to stop and start the uh, audio quickly, I have to sort of, I have to go to the edge here, which is slightly be beveled, and move to the centre, then I've got the centre bit, and press it. It's very difficult to figure out what button you're pressing. Now let's look at the outgoing headphones, the CH700, and you'll see the buttons are easy to press. There's a volume minus plus, and there's a separate button to start and stop here. Um, and then you've got the noise cancellation button on the other side, and you've got the power button here. So the main fault with the new headphones is the buttons are really difficult to understand where they are. And I've had them for about a week now, and it hasn't improved. Every time I use the old headphones, I'm thinking, oh, God, they're so easy to use. Every time I use the new headphones, it's like, why did they do this? So that's the first big moan. The second moan is that the new headphones look cheap. They just don't have a quality look to them. And whilst aesthetics are a secondary consideration, they are a consideration, these headphones look like cheap plastic headphones. These headphones look a bit more stylish. So if I was walking down the street, I'm not, but if I was deluded enough to walk down the street with massive headphones on, I'd look at even a bigger dork uh, wearing these new 710 headphones. The third thing that I'm not very happy about is that um, I think, I don't just think, I know that these cup sizes are smaller. So these headphones, <clears throat> I believe this has got a 40 millimeter driver. I was told that this has a 30 millimeter driver and this, this whole cup is slightly smaller. So people with larger ears will not appreciate that design change. I think I'm on to grumble number four now. Grumble number four would be the actual size is smaller. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it is, but this is, this is actually a little bit smaller than this. Uh, the padding is about the same, but it just looks, you see that, can you see the difference in size there? This is slightly smaller than this. So my criticisms are, 
It looks like they've cheapened the design. The driver is smaller. The button placement is the absolute killer. But from a technical standpoint, the sound quality is just great. The noise cancellation is as good. And um, it does have an extraordinarily long battery life. So from a technical standpoint, it, it ticks all the boxes. It's just the usability and the looks that really lets it down. Um, from a price point of view, these guys, the old ones, the 700s, are available on Amazon for about £120, not at a discount. These guys, although their retail is about 150 they regularly go down to about £70 or £80 on Amazon. Uh, so don't pay more. So I'm still stuck in a bit of a quandary because at the 70 or £80 mark, these are excellent value for money headphones, just extremely difficult to use. And it's not clear what headphones might replace them. Uh, so for the moment, I'm humming and hawing, but I really think that if you have a clean sheet and can get the old headphones, the 700s, for a price that's something like the £70 mark, I would go for those. Okay, Dari, thanks for watching.